All right, let's talk about the first of the angular force uh, punches. This is going to be the hook. So we did the two linear punches, the jab uh, and the, uh, the rear, which typically when I do color code would be red, then blue, and the hook I always do green, and the uppercut black. I'll explain that some other time. So the hook has several varieties. By default, convention, when we say hook, we mean lead, Lead hook, remember if you're in a left orthodox stance, left lead, the hook's gonna be done with the lead hand. We mean lead to the head. That is the traditional hook. Now, we could throw a lead to the body, we could throw a rear to the head, a rear to the body. There are short hooks, long hooks, shovel hooks. We're gonna talk about that. To delineate the two, so I'm going to show you, um, make my stance. When I throw my hook, you see how my elbow is parallel. So my elbow is at, uh, with the ground, or an imaginary vertical line, my elbow is at 90 degrees. The vertical line, like I'm holding a pole through my fist and I can move my elbow up or down, pointing that way. 90 degrees or greater, right? As we get further up from that vertical line, 90 degrees or higher are hooks. When I start to drop my elbow below that 90 degree horizon, technically, those are going to be uppercuts. The elbow uh, being parallel to the floor is gonna determine whether you're throwing a hook or an uppercut. Uh, even if it's a hooking action, this would be called like a shovel hook, right, which is an uppercut. Completely vertically, so between vertical and 90 degrees, that quarter of the circle are uppercuts. And then anything 90 or above are hooks, like a tight high hook, right, or a hook to the head. So hooks and uppercuts, same angular force, just depends on where my elbow is in that, uh, like if you're looking at me in that angle. So 90 degrees and slightly higher would be a good uh, hook. Uh, below 90 to 180, or vertical is gonna be your, um, or down zero is gonna be your uppercuts. So let's talk about the hook. So by convention, when I say hook, green, three, however we talk about this later in some other of the combo videos, we're talking about lead hand and with the uh, to the head pelvis drives all the punches now instead of the jab lunging the pelvis forward or the rear dropping the pelvis to drive that linear force this time we're going to turn the pelvis we're going to turn the pelvis just like when you, I, I tell people if you grab a door and slam it shut now you're twisting this is the action sometimes people mistake for reverse punches twisting the hips drop for the reverse. The hook is going to turn the pelvis, right? Typically you're going to turn this inside, right? Turn this to your inside or toward your medial line. You're going to have your stance, knuckles on your cheeks, forearms parallel, elbows tight. You're moving forward, rear heel off the ground. This is your stance, down a little low like a spring. When I want to throw my hook, I'm going to load onto my front leg. Load and twist a little bit. Now, my pelvis is loaded up over that front leg. I push off with the front leg and turn my pelvis. Okay, I load, turn. That turning of my pelvis is gonna provide the power for this punch. Okay, load, turn. When I turn my pelvis, my lead hand is gonna let that elbow start to float up and that head is gonna move away from my hand. As I start to turn my pelvis, my body comes back, my hand stays there. And as I turn that pelvis, it gives me that little hooking motion, okay? Load, hand comes off, elbow comes up, turn, there's my hook and go back. Do not hook like this, okay? Or like this. I dropped here, my hand drops here. That's when I eat the punch. This is not a hook. This is a terrible punch. I load. And as I come back, I'm just protecting myself, elbows 90 degrees, thumb up for now. You can hook palm down when I get into that, but for now, conventionally, thumb up. So my palm is looking at me, I throw my hook. Okay. I load, twist my hips, and then twist back. Turn my hips. Load, hand comes off, elbow up, twist, back. So I turn, hook, back, hook, back, hook, back. From the open side, <clears throat> I load, elbow floats up as I turn my pelvis, I strike with the fist, striking through, 
and then back. Hook, back. Hook, back. Hook, back. The hook is also tight and 90 degrees uh, or less is my arm to my forearm. I don't hook like this with the arm out. I'm not reaching for the hook out like this with the arm open. That's a long hook. Uh, we'll do that later. Long hooks and short hooks. So typically load, hand comes off. I twist my hips or turn my pelvis to get the punch, the power, and then back, right? Load, hook, back. Load, hook, back. From the close side, load, hook, back. Load, hook, back. Load, hook, back. If I wanna punch in the body, like um, <clears throat> we're going to my wife slips the inside and I wanna put one in her liver. Uh, not my wife, but you know, somebody. <laughs> Sorry, honey. I'm gonna drop my weight. I don't drop my arm down to throw the hook, right? Still 90 degrees, but now my head and everything's open. So if I wanted to hook to the body, not the conventional hook, I'll change levels. Just change levels, load, hook. Same thing, right? Some of you might think, well, I've seen boxers, you know, do that without loading. You're not a professional boxer. You're gonna do it this way. Change levels, load, turn your hip. That's how to hook low. Load, turn your hips, turn your hips, Turn your hips. That's the hook. By convention, when I say hook, I mean lead hook to the head. All right, so practice those punches. Check out the next video, the second angular punch, the uppercut.